Get in um, it only takes one. As you guys know, it only takes one. Everybody gets one. And Mike O in the chat. Oh, boy. Bad take, Neil. You just went down a notch. Mike O, can I ask you a question? Uh-oh. What, what, what's going to follow that? The uh, He left here and won a Super Bowl. Why, why do you Lions fans celebrate that as if you got something out of it? Why? Why do you guys celebrate? I never understood that. Why do you celebrate the fact that he went to the Rams and won a Super Bowl? Like, it, like it's part of your political party or something like that. Why? Michael. Well, Michael, why do you celebrate? I, don't, I can't relate to anybody. I don't give a shit. Michael. I don't care, Mike-o. I don't care that he left and won a Super Bowl. The day he went into the office and said, yeah, trade me. I want out of here. Make no mistake. That's what he said. I want out of here. He Guess did. who was still here? Me and you and all the other Lions fans except for Mike-o, who probably got a Detroit Rams shirt. Yeah, you don't see many of those around anymore, do you? Yeah, no. it's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, and the thing about st- like giving Stafford all the credit for that Super Bowl, you never hear about them adding Von Miller. You never hear about them adding OBJ. You never hear about them adding Jalen Ramsey. You never hear about them adding an all-star at every single level to a team that had already won playoff games the year before. Isn't that interesting? It's just like, well, they added Stafford in one. It's like, no, 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 no. They Stafford was just a small piece of what they added because they don't have OBJ, different team. They don't have Ramsey, different team. Von Miller, pressure in the quarterback, different team. So Stafford was a part of the equation, and that's nice for him. But to say that Stafford went on and won himself a Super Bowl, that he did it, it's like, he hey. walked into a locker room that was already winning. And hit, That's not and hit, hard to do. And hit a 49er safety in the chest with the pass <laughs> in the fourth quarter that he dropped. That yeah. true. Hit him in the chest. But that's why I'll always give Goff more credit because Goff has turned around two franchises. Number one overall pick in L.A. took them to a Super Bowl. Number, you know, came to Detroit. They hadn't won anything in forever. Ever. And now look at us. The perennial favorites now. Everybody, oh, we're the darlings. People have us ranked at the top of their power rankings. That never happened with Stafford here. And now here comes a, but they didn't have Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell. But you know what he did have? He had a decade. (laughs) At some point, a decade should be enough to get you to where you want to be. And he had a number two defense at some point, too. Demond Ice, Stafford won a championship the same year left the Lions. I don't think his feelings are hurt. Neither are mine, Demond. Neither are mine, because in seven days, the guy that came and replaced him did more than quarterbacks in the last 60 years, dude. What? Again, somebody in here says, uh, real cream of wheat, we still on Stafford? I didn't do this. (laughs) I didn't do this, everybody. Like, yeah, you don't think it's going to be a storyline, cream of wheat? It's not going to be a storyline this weekend? It wasn't a storyline last time? Of course. It's always going to be a storyline. It's, it's part of it. Yeah. It's part of it. And the same way you say his feelings, my feelings aren't hurt either. Yeah. Other than the 10 years I wasted watching him play. <laughs> I'm, my feelings are kind of hurt about that. And that's the yeah. thing. I was I was not a Stafford guy when he was here, so I had to hear it all the time. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He's so good. And now that he's gone and we're better, it's like, yeah, yeah. He was, he was part of the problem, not, yeah. not part of the solution. But beyond that... I look at Stafford like I look at Caleb Williams. I look at Stafford like I look at Aaron Rodgers. I look at Stafford as anybody else not wearing a Lions uniform. 100%. He is Aaron Rodgers. You're the enemy, bro. If we got to go through you, over you, under you to get to this Super Bowl, I don't care. And you think Dan Campbell or any of those guys in the locker room care what Matthew Stafford didn't accomplish here for 12 years? I don't care. Kelvin Johnson, one one of his best friends. The minute Stafford gets on the field in that playoff game, Calvin Johnson says, I need a couple from you, man, and I'm not talking about touchdowns. Right. Like, you're right. the enemy. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, you suck. Your kids, they suck. I'm <laughs> booing them. You're the enemy. I don't care. Yeah. And this is why the tribute video thing. That's and really it going. bothers me. Yeah. It bothers me, That's, KG. It I does. Tribute for what? For what? Are exactly. we going to give Joey Wentz a tribute? He just got picked up by the Phillies because we DFA'd him. R.I.P. Joey Wentz. And, and you doing your current quarterback, Jared Goff, a disservice if you go out there and do that tribute. I, you know what? I, I agree happen. with you. Jared yeah. Goff chants are going to be going no, wild while absolutely. that tribute's I playing. I hope so. And absolutely. then guess, what, guess who's going to cry? The Stafford. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were disrespectful. Hey, you know what? That, that brings it. That, stick, that brings that to my attention. I need that out of the 65,000 strong, man. Yeah. No, I, yeah. need, I need it's that gonna round Jared out. Over it's going to happen. If Kelly Stafford would have been here... We, I, I saw some Detroit Dabber says pretzel chucking wackadoodle. 
We should have put a, a, a thing of pretzels in their press box. <laughs> like a thing of soft pretzels in their press box. Well, no, box. you don't want to give her ammo. Oh, but while that tribute's going on, if you're at the game, you need to be chanting Jerry, Jerry Goff. Goff. Absolutely. That's it. Like, that's all that matters. Right. That's all that matters. And listen, we're not heartless. Like, it, right. at the end of, well, yeah, you, but at the end <laughs> of his career, he is, he is the Lions' leading all-time passer in a lot of categories. So at the end of his career, fine. I'm with it. But as yeah. he's still an active competitor for somebody, especially that didn't win a playoff game, that didn't go to an NFC championship, why are you doing this? And I'm a Stafford I just, I can't get the I can't why get the why. Why are you doing this? I can't understand the why. Detroit supremacy. Nobody's discrediting his ring. Bingo. It's just why do you care about it here? That's exactly Detroit supremacy. I don't understand the love. I don't. The love for what? His Super Bowl for the Rams doesn't get you anything. You don't get credit for it. You don't get to win. But at the time, that was the closest the Lions have ever seen a player succeed, right? Right. And, like, say what you want, he was part of that prophecy, that fulfilling it. Like yeah. He, yeah. he was part of the suck for everybody to root for the Detroit Rams at that time. Right. But, yeah, it was never I, – I, when we were doing our Super Bowl party downtown Detroit at the Brass Rail, right, I never – felt that I was rooting for Stafford and if he won, the city won. But there were a lot of people who I like to call betas <laughs> who <laughs> were rocking betas, those man. shirts and if he won it over there, it kind of counts for yeah, me over and, here. And, and, hey, and all those people, did you get your prize? Right. Did your Stafford Super Bowl prize come in the mail? Right. <laughs> did you no? get a ring? No, you didn't? Right. Weird. Oh, and, and guess what? You know what he's, you know what your gift for rooting for him in a Rams uniform was after the Lions beat him last well, year? Remind him. What did he say? I'm happy for the players. Yep. Not the same. When directly asked about the fans. Well, how do you feel about the city? I'm happy for the players. So I just don't want that forgotten. Like, I, I don't want that forgotten. It will not, we were live on the postgame show when it happened, and my jaw dropped because – as much as I don't like Stafford, I know what he means to a lot of people here. Oh, I remember. Right? And I know what he meant to little kids wearing the Stafford jersey. And for him to have that moment, it just shows everything I needed and everything I already knew about this guy. He is not an accountable leader. And instead of saying, you know what, they struggled really hard. It's been a long mountain climb for these Detroit fans. I'm happy they got one. Then just leave it at that. But no, you leave it up to Baker effing Mayfield the next week. Ew, I hate, by the way. But oh, now I love, I love because of Baker everything Mayfield. he did last year. Like, yeah. honestly, I became a Baker Mayfield fan for how he handled losing to the Lions. I became even more of a Stafford detractor because of how he handled it. Woodward Sports chat thread. Uh, first mind, Stafford got smacked around for years and still stood with his team. No. 100. He walked into the office and it's said, get me out of here. Factual. But he said that. Listen, and yes, he did. But he that, had every, KG, at that point, he had every right to do that. Do you think Isaiah, did Isaiah Thomas ever do that? I understand. But Champions if you, don't. did Barry Sanders ever do that? If you 12 years somewhere in the front office just cannot get it right. And we all know how bad those Lions front offices was. They could not get it right at that point in his career taking all that then you fix he it had the right isaiah thomas fixed it I'm on his own he fixed it but we're acting like somebody put a gun to staffer's head and no, made him sign all. his 200 million dollar contract no not at all he was happy collecting the checks of so course tell me like that's where i draw the line with professional yeah. athletes he like, got a quarter billion dollars your, here you may not have liked your situation yeah. but 250 million would make me feel i'm just a saying bit after better. 12 years of service to one place uh, but, and, well, and, the, and the front office you structure can say, was as bad as it was you can say after 12 right. years that's all i'm saying he yeah. had to write you can say after 12 years then i can say after a quarter billion dollars then all of a sudden it was a problem yeah. well true but new regime and yeah like like i said he so, had to write so that's at it that point that's but why once you, but once you leave you're gone so i'm with y'all he on walked that. into the office and said get me out of here yeah but i think it was mutual i, I do think they wanted to well yeah i mean Stafford yeah because yeah, well. we got a good yeah yeah because they wanted want the chance these are culture guys you don't want to be here we don't want you here. And, well, yeah. and 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 they <laughs> wanted a proper chance to rebuild this thing the right way no 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 in retrospect and this gets lost. In retrospect, they had an opportunity to get compensated to get a guy in here that they believed in more. Which was the smart move. And they were right. Yeah, it was the smart move. It was. It worked out for both sides.